question is, um, why do you think that this whole scandal is really important to the students of So, I think the reason, there's a couple of different reasons why I would say that it's, it's important to the students of Klein King. I can see from a moral and ethical standpoint that it's showing our students something we, we talk about with our kids and our students, and that's um, how the things that you do on social media and decisions you make in life, um, they can impact your life and your future. Um, and sometimes those impacts don't show up until three or four or five years later. So when so with some of these situations with the, the college scandal, it happened five years ago, but it's now coming to light. So these decisions that were made five years ago are still impacting these parents and the students um, involved in the, the people at the college level that were also involved or the people at college board um, or ACT. Um, so I think it shows on that ethical moral standpoint, that level that those decisions you're making in your in the past or making now as high school students can impact you four and five years from now or 10 years from now. So really living each day, making sure that you're doing, you're presenting yourself as the best person you possibly can present yourself as and making smart decisions every day. Uh, I think we can learn that we want to make sure that when we're doing things, we're doing it with integrity. Because at the end of the day, when we try and take shortcuts, those things do come out in the wash. And the students and the families who are going through this, this is something that's going to be with them for a while. When there are so many places for you to be able to apply to that have different admission standards that we can find things that will meet the needs of students for different universities and different career choices. Why does this matter to you? This matters to me because changing your test score, putting pictures of your children on photos of sports teams in which your children don't even play those sports is a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty big thing to do just to get your kids into college when, especially I know one family, one of their child, she didn't even want to go to college. She had a successful career on YouTube. She made good amount of money she didn't want to go to college and for kids who want to make their choices themselves doing something like this is taking that choice away from them and from the other kids who actually work hard to get where they are it was shocking to me it's um, because the people at least that they've shown us so far um, right of course we're limited right what which what side does the media want to show us but what we have seen so far it just seems like these were individuals that had so much going for them um, that it's shocking to me that they felt that desperate to, to, to take the measures that they did and to be so deceiving when it doesn't seem like that they really needed to do that. It seems like those in those the cases I've seen, there were other universities that they could have gone to that still would have provided them with an excellent education. Um, so it, that part, yeah, just was shocking and confusing to me. Thank you. Do you have any other thoughts about uh, I think I just want to remind students and families when you're looking at schools you have those that may have those those names that go along with, it, with those heavy recognitions but there are schools that may not have that same type of prestige that still give quality education and so I just want to continue to remind students to look past what that name is they always see because there are so many great places that offer great opportunities for students, maybe smaller schools, smaller fees, but they really want to ensure that students and families get a quality education and have the resources that they need to be successful in their, in their um, career choices.